Hello and welcome to Camper. On today's show, our snack stop is the farm at Byron Bay. We'll show you how diesel care works, but right now, something to be very careful of if you're visiting Fraser Island. One of the most controversial, maligned and intriguing animals in the Fraser Island ecosystem would have to be this bloke, the Fraser Island Dingo. It's thought that Fraser is home to 25 to 30 wild dingo families or packs, and these packs are dominated by an alpha male and female who are the predominant breeders for the pack. Over the years, dingoes have come to associate people with food, and for this reason, they've grown more and more bold. So you'll see the cattle grid here. It's not for cattle. It's for dingoes, and this is the dingo fence that surrounds Yurong Beach Resort. The great thing about staying at Yurong or at Kingfisher Bay Resort is if you've got children, they're free to wander the grass and have a swim in the pool, do whatever they want, without the risk of being chased or harassed by dingoes. Stupidly though, some people still try to attract them with food so they can take photos and this sort of behaviour has led to some disastrous outcomes. In 2001, a young boy was killed and his brother also attacked and there have been several attacks in recent years. If confronted by an aggressive animal, the worst thing to do is turn and run. Stand up as tall as you can, fold your arms, maintain eye contact at the animal and never, ever turn your back. It's highly unlikely that you'll have any issues as local rangers monitor rogue behaviour pretty well. But remember to securely lock food away if you leave camp. And by that, I mean strongbox your supplies. Also, never let young kids go walking alone on Fraser Island. Even in small groups, they could be challenged, so be vigilant. On Fraser, these guys are at the top of the food chain in a delicate environment, and they should be respected and admired from afar. For more information on the Fraser Island Dingo, you can contact the Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service at nspr.queensland.gov.au. I'm ready. <laughs> Today's next stop is the farm at Byron Bay. The farm is just off the Pacific Highway and a perfect stop whether you're headed to Byron or someplace even cooler. Set on 80 acres, you can wander the fields, grab a coffee or just follow the chooks. The food is as rustic and as beautiful as the view. Dine in, grab some fresh produce, it's very Byron and very cool. And not a cream bun in sight, but we'll give it five anyway. Diesel Care is a company that uh, is essentially a diesel fuel injection service company, and we've been in existence since 1947, so we've been around a long time. But we do a lot of other things too that are allied to diesels. Diesel performance is a big part of that, and we're the importer and distributor of the Steinbauer product range. Um, we also do fuel filtration systems, which are in kit form and uh, we're constantly developing new kits for new vehicles as they come out. Timely isn't it really because diesel motors are everywhere now aren't they? They're yeah. uh, not just in this leisure 4x4 market and tradies but you know they're, uh, they're infiltrating the entire sort of automotive industry. It's for passenger vehicles other than just SUVs and four-wheel drive. So lots of diesel power here um, and diesel expertise is, uh, is something that's needed in, in Australia. Right? This is a, a reasonably hardcore 4x4 uh, audience that we're servicing mm. here. What sort of questions are they, are they coming and asking? You guys. Well, a really common one is filtration systems and, and damage from, from uh, contaminated fuel and we can offer solutions to, to safeguard people against that. If they, don't, if they haven't experienced fuel contamination issues with their own vehicle, they certainly know somebody who did and has done. So that's a very common question. Of course there's the performance um, question that we get. People want to improve the performance, perhaps economy of their, uh, their four-wheel drive. So um, that's uh, what we hear a lot of these shows. Yeah. You can find out more about diesel care at your local ARB.
Our next camper giveaway is a beauty, an ARB canvas awning for your next off-road adventure. Keeping you cool in the dry and dry in the wet, ARB awnings are a must-have for a day at the beach or a night in the bush. ARB awnings feature anodized height-adjustable telescopic legs, Velcro ties, all secured and free from the outside elements in a heavy-duty nylon reinforced PVC bag. Fully waterproof and with a UVP rating of 50 plus, the ARB awning comes in three sizes and is yours to win. Follow the link to enter the competition and to increase your number of entries, just follow the prompts. The more entries you have, the more chance of winning and you've got to be in it to win it. The prize will be drawn on Friday, August 3. Register now and good luck.